Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Vehicles, or EV tolls, will soon transform urban air mobility. We'll rely on EV tolls to get us to our destinations on a daily basis. Commercial aviation has an enviable safety record, and we will expect this same high standard of safety for urban flights. But today's air traffic control system wasn't designed for high volumes of low altitude intracity traffic. Unless we have a system that manages high traffic volumes safely, the growth of urban air mobility will be limited. New concepts such as Unmanned Aircraft Systems Traffic Management, or UTM, show great potential, but they don't address the unique safety and operational needs of piloted, passenger-carrying flights that rely on voice-based communication. We've developed a concept called Urban Air Traffic Management, or UATM, to ensure the safe scalability of urban air mobility. UATM proposes a centralised system for managing urban air traffic that also exchanges information with ATM and UAS service suppliers. As demand for urban air mobility grows, UATM will mitigate safety risks, reduce demands on air traffic control, ensure equitable airspace access, and adapt as aircraft evolve from piloted voice-based flights towards autonomy. UATM is built on two foundational services, airspace and procedure design, and information exchange.
These foundational services ensure a harmonized approach to integrating all airspace users, including conventional aircraft and unmanned aircraft systems. To support daily traffic management needs, UATM provides four operational services. Flight authorization. Flow management. Dynamic airspace management. and conformance monitoring. We are working with air navigation service providers, government and industry to tailor UATM solutions for their communities. Together, we are preparing for the future of urban flight. I'm happy to talk to you today about our engineering development simulator. This is a tool that has been found to be very useful and very powerful in previous aircraft development at Embraer. In it, we fly the very same control laws that will be flown in our eVTOL vehicle. We also develop the human-machine interface that will be available on the vehicle before it goes autonomous. The simulator helps us to evaluate this new concept of flight where we have a much simpler way to control the aircraft, leading to the fly-by-wire functions of the complicated commands. We also use the simulator to perform all the tests before we start flying. This brings more maturity and safety to the product and makes the development faster. I had the privilege to, be, uh, to perform the first flight of the aircraft. Mainly, uh, I had two uh, inceptors uh, to control the aircraft. It was as simple as that as friendly as that and the flight was absolutely easy to perform. 